Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Jason Worley, and today we are in the engine dyno cell at WC Fab. And here behind me, we have our twin turbo LB7. This is the engine that will be in our new short bed race truck. So if you didn't catch our first video we did a few weeks back about our new LB7 race truck, things have snowballed slightly. I think I may have mentioned in that video that we were uh, going to take the truck that we bought and go race it. Might take it to the strip and just run it as it is for a while and, and see, see what we can do with it and see what we want to do, maybe, maybe, maybe make some changes. And it might have been a couple days later, the front clip was off of it and the engine was pulled out of it. We're excited to get it, start doing some racing, but it was pretty outdated in a lot of our product that was under the hood. Many of the things were, you know, six, seven, eight years old. And if we're going to go out there with a shop truck and do some racing, we want to make sure we're promoting our latest and greatest and that everything's running as good as we can. So we decided to pull the engine and uh, tear it down. We didn't do a full tear down because it was a fairly recent uh, rebuild, but we took it down to a short block and we did some updates. We reached out to our good friends over at Fleece Performance, got a set of their LB7 uh, cupless cylinder heads. The heads that were on the truck still uh, were original from the original build 10 years ago, 12 years ago. And it didn't have threaded cups, it still ran the standard factory style cup, which if you're familiar with LB7 high performance world, um, those are a notorious uh, problematic point. So we installed a set of their heads, set of SoCal high pressure valve springs and started putting the engine back together and updating it with all the latest and greatest from WC Fab. So you'll see we've got our new billet uh, Duramax exhaust manifolds on here. We've got our two inch stainless high flow up pipes. The turbocharger setup is kind of a cool combination. We, we talked with calibrated power and we wanted a quick spooling, uh, street friendly, um, you know, quick response because this truck is going to be doing the sick week and the drag week events and we want consistency. We don't want to have troubles with a big turbo setup that's difficult to spool on the line, uh, requires a ridiculously loose converter. So we actually went with one of their hybrid stealth chargers in the valley. It's an IHI drop-in. It's a combination of their 67 and their 64. So it uses the 67 millimeter turbine uh, exhaust side so we can have that high flow to help make that uh, good peak power and that, that's beneficial in the compound application to have the high flowing turbine on the high pressure valley charger. But the front side to help with spool up and increase drivability we stuck with 64 millimeter compressor. So we went with a little bit smaller on the atmosphere turbo than what was uh, previously on the truck. Uh, but it's going to be a quick spooling setup and it should get us the 11-1200 horsepower uh, that we need um, pretty easily. 